Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, my name is Natalie and I run a stationery shop called Doodles and Tea. So it's been a while, hasn't it? If you guys are new here, I actually haven't uploaded anything on pretty much all of my social media accounts for the last four months. And I wanted to do a little update video for you guys because I felt like it would be really weird if I just came back and started uploading videos as if this break never happened because I didn't really talk about why I was going on this break leading up to the break I just said that I had some personal stuff that I had to go through uh, nothing bad at all so I wanted to make sure no one was worrying that something really bad happened to me there was just a lot of stuff that required a lot of my energy and energy that I already do not have so I thought that in this video we would go through very briefly everything that's been going on as well as share some plans with you guys that I have for this channel because even though you guys haven't seen me post anything I still have been working on stuff for this channel for my shop and you guys will see in some of the upcoming videos this is actually one of the last videos that I'm filming so if next time you see the next video and my hair is long again this is why but yeah let's just get started with this video don't forget to like this video if you guys are happy that I'm back, I guess. <laughs> and to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And once all that is done, let's get started. So I'm gonna try and do this in chronological order just so that it is a bit easier for you guys to follow along. If you guys have seen any of my older videos or follow me on Instagram, you probably know about this already. But I was in a long distance relationship and we got engaged two years ago, right when COVID hit. And one of the things that happened during this break was that we finally got married. So yeah, the whole wedding planning with my husband during COVID and just being long distance in general was an experience. One of the big reasons why I decided to take the break was because as the wedding day was getting closer, I knew that I was going to start stressing so much because I am a chronic overthinker. So I knew that, you know, it was just better for me to take a break from everything so I didn't have to worry about shop stuff while trying to go through the last run for the wedding. It was just something that I knew future me would really thank myself for doing. And you know what? Future me does thank past me for taking this break and everything went really well, the day was great. I can totally make a separate video to talk about the whole wedding planning process and whatnot if you guys are interested. But yeah, it was definitely a very stressful experience. There were a lot of things that happened during that planning process. But you know, at this point looking back, it was a really great day to be able to celebrate with all of our friends and family. So yeah absolutely no regrets with how things ended up going and at this point honestly I'm just glad that it is done with so after the wedding obviously no more long distance and as you can tell by my background I'm no longer in the same room this is another reason why I wanted to film this update video because if you guys suddenly just saw like a different background it's like what the heck? <laughs> so I no longer live in the same city actually. I ended up moving to a different city and now obviously I'm living with my husband. So going back to the whole wedding planning, I was also trying to pack everything. You know, I had lived in that house for very very long time so I had a lot of stuff. It got to a point where I really had to start sifting through everything that I have. It's like what am I bringing over? What am I actually keeping? What am I donating? And just going through that whole process is so tiring, not just physically, but I feel like also mentally. So packing stress was also going up. And on top of that, wedding stress was also going up. And that was another reason why this break was very much needed. Eventually, I will be giving you guys an office tour of this room. It's still very empty and still very messy. So once I get everything a bit more settled, I will be filming the office tour for you guys. Most of my videos are still going to be in this room. I'm not gonna be filming 
like the rest of our place just for privacy reasons but yes that's something you guys can look forward to in the future honestly i've still been unpacking some stuff because we've been making a couple of trips back and forth which i'll talk about in a bit but you know you never realize how much stuff you have until you have to move and you think that i would have known this from the amount of times that i've had to move around in dorms in university or just moving to different places to live during my university life yeah nope didn't learn <laughs> so like i said i've been going back and forth with moving my stuff i've also had some other events that i had to go to back home so that is why like as much as i wanted to open up my shop again and trust me it felt so weird not working on anything for my shop or not not working but not being able to show you guys anything there were so many times that i was tempted to open up my shop again but i knew that wasn't realistic because i wouldn't be here where all my shop stuff was but something that i was able to do was i was able to create some freebies to hand out at a concert that i went to i got to meet quite a few of you guys at the 17 concert back in vancouver um, i am wearing concert merch I didn't think that I would actually get it, but I have concert FOMO, so <laughs> I ended up getting it. Don't worry, there is a studio vlog that I filmed for that whole freebie making event. And I'm trying to edit the concert footage right now. There are some people that message me saying that they wanted to see the videos that I filmed. But honestly, I've been having a battle with Premiere Pro for the last two days trying to render that footage because I filmed it in 4K with 60 frames per second and my computer and Premiere Pro does not like that so hopefully I can get that footage up but yeah I'm still working on that but yeah the last four months have definitely been crazy and I'm really glad that I can be filming videos for you guys again and just be back here on YouTube because I do really like filming these videos I love sharing my experiences with you guys I love hearing from you guys saying that the things that i'm telling you actually help your shop so with that i have decided to change my upload schedule on youtube i don't know if i'm gonna be quite ambitious with this but i'm gonna try and upload one video a week from here on out so new videos are still gonna be going up on wednesdays every week but i really want to challenge myself to see how far i can go with this youtube channel because i'm definitely been seeing a lot more potential with this channel i've been able to grow my shop and i guess my presence on the internet a lot more with this channel and like i said before it just really makes my day when i'm able to hear from you guys saying that the videos that i make really help so i've already filmed pretty much all the videos for september but of course if you guys have any requests for video ideas and whatnot please leave it in the comments i definitely do try and read every single comment and reply to as many of them as I can. I would greatly appreciate some advice on what videos to film. Another thing though is that the last video of every month is going to be something not shop related. This way I can share a bit more of my different interests and hobbies with you guys that are outside of my shop life. This also gives me a chance to create content that's not shop related so I don't really get burnt out talking about shop stuff. An example that I'm going to be filming for September is my plant collection video. I have gotten some requests from you guys to talk about what plants I have because they have shown up in some studio vlogs or my old product shots and I think everyone during the pandemic has low-key become some sort of a plant parent so it'll be fun sharing some of my plants with you guys. But you know just video ideas like that I've gotten requests to talk about um how i learn korean like how i self-study i think that would be pretty fun some videos talking about k-pop as well or even like like i said earlier in the video wedding planning just things that aren't exactly shop related i think it'll be pretty fun to talk about and in a way expand the content that i create so i hope you guys are looking forward to that as well the last thing is that if you guys are watching this video on the day that it is uploaded on september 1st my shop is officially opened again i have also opened my shopify store again so if you guys go to doodlesandtea.com if you're based in us or canada 
you can get all of my products there for slightly cheaper than Etsy because Etsy fees have gone a bit high as of lately. Unfortunately, I cannot sell to anyone that lives outside of Canada and USA. Um, on my Shopify store. This is simply for tax reasons because Etsy does take care of a lot of tax stuff for us and unfortunately the prices on my Etsy store are just gonna be slightly higher just to cover for some of the fees that they have and the money that they're taking from me because of it. So I hope you guys understand. But yes, we have a lot of new products that are out now and I hope you guys will go check it out. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys just check it out or even share it with your friends and overall I am just really glad to be back so I hope you guys have all been doing well as well during these last four months and yeah look forward to all the videos that will be coming out on this channel soon and with that I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourself out there and I'll see you guys in the next video bye